this meeting is being recorded. All right. Welcome, everybody, to today's core civility class. We are going to go ahead and... We are going to go ahead and start on the ground with our cool down. If you have any trouble hearing me, or not our cool down, we're starting with our warm up. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get on the ground for our warm up. If you have any trouble hearing me, please let me know. So on the ground for our hundreds, rest your back on the ground, feet flat on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling, hands by your sides. Curl up chin to chest so your shoulder blades hover off the ground. And then lift your hands up by your hips to hip height so they're hovering off the ground. And lift those feet off the ground so you're in upside down tabletop position. Shins parallel with the ceiling. Pump those arms up and down. Hands go up and down a few inches. Pushing nice energy out through your hands. and. The pump of these arms warms up the arms. It also creates instability in the core. So as we're keeping our shoulder blades lifted, we're engaging our upper abs. As we push our lower back down towards the ground, we're getting lower abs. Option here to extend your legs to a diagonal away from you, get them nice and straight, and that'll increase the work through your lower abs. Nice inhales and exhales. Inhaling for four or five counts and exhaling the following four or five counts. And bend your knees, bring them into your chest, rest your head, take a little breath. From here, we're gonna start and we're gonna go into our crunches, sit-ups or roll-ups. Choose your own adventure. Go ahead and begin which one works for you. For crunches, feet flat on the floor. Hands behind your head, elbows wide, lifting those shoulder blades off the ground and resting them. For your sit up, same position as the crunch, you're just sitting fully up, back comes off the ground. And for our roll up, our legs are extended, nice and long, hands overhead, reaching up, reaching forward. Nice job. If you have, if you are doing those roll ups, Dig those heels into the ground. Reach nice and far forward at the top. All right, go ahead and rest to your upper body down on the ground. Feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. We're gonna go into single leg circles for some hip mobility and stretching inner and outer thighs as, long, uh, as well as the fronts and backs of our legs. So I'm gonna bend my right knee into my chest and then straighten that right leg so my right toes point to the ceiling. Option to rest your left leg long on the ground or you can keep that foot planted on the ground. And let's go ahead and go across the body first. Counterclockwise circles with your right leg. Feel your hip release here. Feel those muscles in your thigh, your hamstrings engage. Push your low back into the ground. Push those arms into the ground. Head remains rested. Switch directions clockwise this time. Your circle is as big as you want it to be. The bigger your circle, the more instability. The smaller your circle, the more stability you're giving yourself. Pay attention to your low back. If your low back starts to lift off the ground, make those circles a little bit smaller and make them a little bit higher up towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee to your chest and switch sides. Left knee bends to your chest, left leg points to the ceiling. Point your toe. Right leg is either foot planted on the ground or resting long on the ground. Across our body first, so we start clockwise, going right down, left up. Pushing those low back those hips into the ground waking up our hip flexors here hip mobility and our upper leg muscles my toe is pointed here reverse directions counterclockwise so left down right up at your own pace in your own range of motion 
All right, bend that left knee into your chest and rest both feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. Then curl your chin to your chest to lift your shoulder blades up off the ground. Bring your right knee to your chest, hug your right knee in nice and tight. And then option to leave left foot planted or option to hover your left leg off the ground. Left leg long, switch legs. Hug your left, extend your right, and continue switching. Single leg stretch. So as you hug, you are stretching the back of your leg and contracting the top of it. And as you extend, you're doing the opposite. Contracting the back, extending the top. So one muscle contracts, the other stretches. And let's go to double leg stretch. So hug both knees into your chest, rest your head for just a little break there for those upper abs. And when you're ready, curl back up, chin to chest, shoulder blades come off the ground, hug both hands around your knees. Knees are bent towards your chest. Now, extend both legs long away from you, glue them together and arms behind your head at the same time. Then hug everything back into your starting position. Legs extend long, arms extend long behind you. Circle your arms around you, hug back into your starting position. So as you extend, you're creating lots of instability. You should feel your abs shake, feel the burn in your abs. And as you come back in, you get that brief moment of rest as you hug your knees in. Feel your surface layer abs working, your low abs working to keep your low back on the ground and hug your knees into your chest, rest your head. Whew. Nice job, everybody. We move on to single straight leg stretch. So for single straight leg stretch, let's bend our right knee to our chest and then extend that right leg long, point your toe to the ceiling. Option for your left foot to stay planted on the ground or to hover off the ground in a straight line. That's up to you. Curl chin to chest, shoulder blades come off the ground. Reach your hands as high towards your right ankle as you can. So that might be behind your thigh or behind your calf. Try to avoid the knee. Then switch. Left leg comes up, points towards the ceiling. Hands reach for your left leg, pull it closer to you. Switch at your own pace, switch, switch. If you have a light bend in your knee, that's okay. It just means you have tight hamstrings. I do too. So stretching out the back of our leg again as we come forward. This is a little bit more intense now that our legs are more straight than they were bent in the previous time we did this. After this, we get to rest our head. Give it a couple more. Three, two, one. Tuck your knees into your chest, rest your head. We go on to double straight leg stretch. So. Rest your hands by your sides, pushing your forearms into the ground. Knees come to your chest and then straighten both legs, both feet point towards the ceiling. Push your low back into the ground. Lower your legs for three counts to a diagonal away from you. One, two, three, and then lift on one count. So slow lower, quick lift. Now, as you do this exercise, Notice your lower back. If your lower back starts to peel off the ground, you've gone too far. So lower it just as much as it challenges you, but your low back can stay glued and then lift back up. This changes for me every day, depending on how, how my abs are feeling. So your range of motion may change as well. Three, two, one. Bend those knees into your chest, rest your feet. Head remains rested. Feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. Last exercise in our warm up is crisscross or bicycle crunches. Hands behind head, elbows wide. Left elbow points left, right elbow points right. Opposite knee to opposite armpit. Go ahead and begin. Right knee pulls in, left armpit reaches for right knee and switch. Option to keep your leg planted when it is not pulling across or option to extend it to hover long on the ground for a deeper challenge. 
obliques. Each side movement that we're doing, keeping our shoulder blades high, firing up those side abs as we create instability. One ab has to remain stronger than the other each time we switch. Three, two, one, knees into chest, rest your head. Woo, we made it through a warm up. Nice job, everybody. Not for the faint of heart. I'm just gonna get a sip of water and we'll start in a, a sitting position. All right. For our spine, stretch forward. How's everybody doing? Good? Good. Silence? Good. We got one good. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and sit up nice and tall, legs extended in front of you, toes point towards the ceiling. Legs are long. For spine stretch forward, we just did a lot of activation involving our back and our ab muscles. So reach your arms forward at shoulder height, palms face down, fingertips are away from you, reaching forward. And then push your shoulders forward to reach your hands forward, still staying level with your shoulders as you try to pull your belly button back. This will be using your own muscles resistance to stretch your spine in like a candy cane shape. And then come back up to seated when you're ready. Take a big inhale and then repeat. Exhale and reach. Not This stretch does focus on the spine, but you'll also feel this in the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, all the way through the back. Back side of your body stretch. Nice job, everybody. Really releasing with those exhales. Okay. When you're ready, we get back right into that work. So, back rests on the ground, feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. Head stays rested for this. This is a lower ab exercise. So, push those hands into the ground, push those hips into the ground. Bend your knees to your chest, point both legs to the ceiling for corkscrew. So we did single leg circles, now we're taking it up a notch, doing it with both. So glue those legs together, toes point towards the ceiling, draw circles with your legs and switch directions when you come back to the top. So clockwise, then counterclockwise. Goal here, the leg movement. Yes, you're engaging your legs, you're squeezing your thighs together, but this is all the great instability through the lower abs. So the goal here is to keep your back flat on the ground, belly button pulled into your spine, and hips still. If your hips start to move a lot, decrease the size of your circle, decrease your range of motion. All the legs is just busyness. Make it harder for those abs to work. And bend your knees to your chest, rest your feet, Let's do some more stretching. Go ahead, sit up to a seated position. We're going into saw or seated windmill toe touch if you're familiar. So, sitting up nice and tall, feet wider than shoulder width apart, but still comfortable. Mine's about the width of my yoga mat apart, the short side. Arms in a T, sitting up nice and tall. Big inhale. On your exhale, twist. Chest faces the uh, right, left. Pinky reaches for right pinky toe, pinky to pinky, come back up, go to center, switch sides, right pinky to left pinky toe. So inhaling in the center, exhaling as you reach, saw or seated windmill toe touch. Elongating your spine at the top and twisting. So as you twist to stretch your spine, you are contracting your abdominals, ab work. With every stretch comes a muscle contraction. Whew. After this, we're gonna get into back extension, back strengthening. Even out your sides. Finish on the side you did not start on. And then sit up nice and tall. We're gonna go onto the front sides of our body. Four. Um, where swan would be, but we're gonna switch it up. So, laying on the front side of your body, hands stacked, rest your hand, your forehead on your hands, 
So my left elbow points left, right elbow points right, and then forehead's resting on the back of my hands here. Legs are extended long behind me. If you want the extra challenge, squeeze those legs together. If you don't, legs about hip width apart. Push your hips into the ground. Belly button pulls off the ground. That engages your core. And then lift your hands and your forehead off the ground slightly as far as is comfortable. And then lower it back down. You'll feel those back muscles strengthening to get you there. So just upper body lifts and lowers. Exhaling to lift. Inhaling to lower. Your hips stay down. The tops of your feet stay heavy on the ground. Belly button stays up. All right, now rest your upper body. We're going to switch to just lower body. Legs lift a few inches, then lower. Legs lift, legs lower. You'll feel this in your glutes and also strengthening your back muscles. Moving at your pace. Lifting and lowering. After this set, we'll do them together. All right, everything's rested. Now upper and bo lower body lift at the same time. Upper and lower body lift mm -hmm. and lower, lift and lower. Everything working together. Belly button still pulled the spine. Back extension. We don't get a lot of this in our day to day movement so it's important to not neglect those back muscles keep them nice and strong so they can help counteract our core in three two one rest come to a tabletop position so hands underneath shoulders knees underneath hips and we're just going to go into a quick cat cow to stretch out oh to stretch out your spine and your core. So cat cow position, dip your belly low, point your nose forward, roll your shoulders back, stretching out your abs, and then tuck your chin to your chest, push weight through your hands, spine to the sky for cow. Wiggle wherever it feels good to you. Get a nice stretch out there. And when you're ready, you feel good to move on. Let's go into our crunch position with upper body on the ground, feet flat on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling, arms rested by your sides. We're gonna do some isolated low ab work here so upper body can stay rested. We're gonna do our tabletop toe taps. So, Keep your knees bent, right knee comes over right hip, so my right foot comes off the ground, right shin parallel to the ceiling, lower it back down. Left knee comes over my left hip, left shin parallel to the ceiling, tap it back down. Go ahead and repeat at your own pace, stopping when that knee comes over your hip. Now, increase the work with all your might, Take your muscles, your ab muscles, push them down towards the ground. Belly button towards the spine. Low back stays glued. Now, let's take it up a notch and both legs at the same time. If your low back starts to peel off the ground, you can either lower or limit your range of motion, so don't tap your toes all the way on the ground or you can go back to one at a time. Next option is to tap, extend your legs straight to the ceiling, bend them, and then tap again. So tap your toes, extend up, bend your knees, tap your toes. So all options here. If you extend your legs up towards the ceiling, that's creating a bigger range of motion, more instability. Low abs, right under your belly button. Getting on fire. All right. And rest those feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling, just take a deep breath. Ooh, nice job. 
We're gonna do inner and outer thigh strength and mobility next. So bend your knees to your chest and extend both legs long up to the ceiling. And then you're gonna let your left leg fall left and right leg fall right. So your legs open to a V, feeling a deep stretch through your inner thighs. And then you'll flex your feet and then bring your feet back together at the top, which is engaging the inner thighs. So point to lower your legs into a V shape, flex to bring them straight up. Point and flex, moving at your own pace. How wide your legs go is up to your hip mobility. I, my hip mobility is almost non-existent, so mine does not go very far down. It'll change for you, depending on yours. Nice job. And bend your knees into your chest, rest your feet. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink of water and we are gonna go into a little flow. It's gonna be, we're gonna do it on the right side. So some are side-based and some are um, both sides of your body working at the same time, but we're gonna do it all with the right side and then we'll repeat it on the left side. So here we go. We're gonna get back down, um, resting on your back. And then we are gonna add upper abs in here. So hands behind your head, elbows wide. And then bring your right knee in above your hip. So right shin towards the ceiling. Now you're gonna straighten your right leg up to the ceiling and then lower it to hover over the ground. So left knee stays rested. Bend right knee to come over your hip, right shin parallel with the ground, extend your leg straight to the ceiling, lower to hover and repeat. So bent, straight, lower, bent, straight, lower. All while you're doing this, hands behind head, elbows wide, shoulder blades trying to hover off the ground. So this forces, working on one side, forces one side of your abs to work harder also, one leg is doing the work. Trying to keep those shoulder blades nice and high, elbows nice and wide. Nice job. If you are feeling daring, add an upper crunch when your leg is at the top before you lower. Nice job. And go ahead and rest. Three, two, one. We are going to come to our um, left forearm and do a side plank with hip lifts. So, right, um, right side towards the ceiling, left side of your body down towards the mat. Your left elbow is going to go beneath your left shoulder, forearm on the ground. Now, from this position, take your right leg and bend it. Put your right tiptoes on the ground right behind your left knee. And now you can use the strength and the push through your right tiptoes to help lift your hips off the ground. So side plank, right foot behind left knee to lift those hips up off the ground. If it feels good to you, you can have your, reach your right hand to the ground in front of your torso to support you a little bit more. From here, you're gonna lower your hips to touch the ground, lift your hips towards the ceiling. So left hip taps the ground, right hip reaches towards the ceiling and repeat. So keeping that one as we lift our hips up, we're crunching our obliques and we're working some muscles in our upper arm as well. And three, two, one, roll onto your back. Nice job. We go into dead bugs. So 
Feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. Head is rested. Reach your arms behind you, long resting on the ground. Left knee pulls forward, so left shin is parallel with the ceiling as the right arm reaches up towards the sky. Option to touch your right hand to your left knee. Lower back down. Repeat on the other side. Uh, right knee comes forward, right shin goes to the ceiling, left arm goes down to the ground. If you would like to extend your legs long on the ground, rather than having your feet planted, you can do that. So opposite knee raises, opposite arm reaches. Again, lower back, glued to the ground here. Lower ab work. Using opposite sides of your body. Nice job. And three, two, one. Go ahead, rest. My microphone got tangled. Rest, and let's roll on to the front sides of our body here for the last exercise in this main flow. We are going to do heel beats, everybody's favorite. Okay, so rest your head, your forehead on your palms of your hands. So left elbow points left, right elbow points left, right. Palms are stacked. Forehead is rested on my palms. Push your belly button up to your spine, hips into the ground. Lift both your legs up. Feet are flexed. Squeeze your legs to bring your heels together and release. Squeeze to bring your heels together and release. If your heels don't touch, that's okay. Mine don't touch. Glute work here. Also back work. Also ab work. <laughs> it all connects. <laughs> Hamstrings on fire. Heels together and apart. And three, two, one, rest. We're gonna take it from the top, switching sides this time. So we're gonna get back into our crunch position. Upper body rested, feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. And hands behind head, elbows wide. Left knee bends towards your chest, left shin to the ceiling, parallel to the ceiling, and kick your left leg up. Left toe points to the ceiling and lower it to hover off the ground. Repeat. Left knee bends, straightens points to the ceiling and lowers, keeping those shoulder blades hovering off the ground as you do so. Elbows wide. If you're feeling ambitious, add that crunch as your leg points to the ceiling before you lower it. Leg bends, lifts, lowers. Bends, lifts, lowers. Nice job. Nice deep breaths. All right. And rest in three, two, one. Head rests, feet rest. Now we do our side plank on our right side. So, right elbow comes beneath your right shoulder. Right side of your body points down to the ground. Left side of your body points up to the ceiling. Take your left foot and plant it, plant your toes behind your right knee. So my left knee is kind of pointing to the ceiling, kind of not, because it's hard for me to open my hip, but that's the direction we're going for. Option to take your left hand and plant it on the ground in front of your torso or hand on hip, up to you. Go ahead and lift your hips to a side plank. So just elbows and feet on the ground. Lower your right hip to touch the ground. Raise your left hip to reach the ceiling. Lower and lift. Right elbows directly beneath right shoulder. Side planks are tough, but you got this. Deep breaths as you go. Oblique crunch to get those hips to lift. And lower. Shoulder strength here supporting you. And three, two, 
one, rest that. We go on to our backs once more for our dead bug. Upper body is rested on the ground. Backs flat on the ground, feet planted on the ground. Arms reach behind you, opposite knee to opposite arm. Coming forward, option to tap, opposite hand to op opposite knee as it comes through. Or option to extend legs long and bring that knee in. Just creates a little bit more work for those low abs if leg is fully extended rather than planted on the ground. After this is heel beats and that little mini float is over. Nice job everybody, keep that lower back down to the ground. And three, two, one, rest and flip, front side down. All right, stack those palms, rest your forehead on your hands, push your belly button back to your spine and hips down to the mat. Lift those legs to hover, flex your feet, squeeze heels together, release, squeeze heels together, release. Back strengthening, glute strengthening, hamstrings, and of course core with that belly button pulled in. Nice job. Deep breaths. And three, two, one, rest. Nice job. I'm going to get a sip of water and I'll meet you in a shoulder hip glute bridge. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get on your back. Feet flat on the floor. Arms by your sides. Lift your hips up to the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes to get there. Head stays rested. Get on your tippy toes here. This will give you more space to lift and lower your hips. So for here, we're lifting with our glutes, squeezing our glutes to get the work into our muscles rather than straining our low back, okay? So lower those hips to tap the ground, lift your hips to the ceiling. Hips tap, hips raise. If being on your tiptoes is a bit much, always option to go flat footed. Nice job. Glutes and hamstrings on fire here as you do a tight contraction to get your hips to go up and then release down to the ground. Nice deep breaths as we go through. After this, we get a little stretch. And three, two, one, rest. Bring that those hips down to the ground and rock up to a seated position for spine twist. Okay, once you are sitting up nice and straight, get your legs together, squeeze your legs together in front of you, legs are straight, arms into a T-shape. Twist your chest left and right to get a nice twist through your spine. As you're twisting here, you're like wringing out your obliques, your abs. You can choose if it feels good as you twist side to side to hold it for three longer seconds each time you twist right and left. Moving at your own pace. As we sit up nice and tall here, we do get a stretch through the backs of our legs slightly and our spine muscles and abs course, keeping our shoulders and arms involved as well with arms in this T-shape. Who's ready for side kicks? My favorite glute work coming up next. <laughs> I'm going to get a quick sip of a water and let's start on our right side of our body. So right side down, left side to the ceiling. Okay. So right side down, left side is up towards the ceiling. This time we're not going to be in a line. We're going to bend our knees so that our knees are in front of our hips. I'm resting my right elbow on the ground. You can choose to do this or you can 
have your right elbow bent, uh, let your hand, let your head rest in your right hand or extend your uh, right leg long and rest your head on your uh, right arm. So that's up to you. Bring those knees bent. The closer you can get your knees to your chest, the harder this is gonna be. So the placement of your knees is your choice. Um, so in front of your hips is a little bit less, closer to your chest is a little bit more. So knees are about, bent about a 90 degree angle. Left knee is um, stacked on top of the right. So from here, I am gonna just have my left hand on my left hip. You can plant your left hand in front of your torso if that will support you best. We're gonna do clamshells first. So keep your toes together, lift your left knee up towards the ceiling and then lower it. Lift it and then lower it. So keeping that left knee stacked on top of the right, lift and lower it. The more your left hip is rolled forward, the harder this is gonna be for your side glutes. That's what we're targeting here. Side glutes. Nice job. We got a little bit of a long glute stretch today, so stick with me. You'll feel so good and so strong tomorrow. Okay, now we're gonna alternate. So we lift our left knee just like we just did. And now, instead of keeping our toes together as we lower it, like we are going to tap our knees, lift our toe. Tap our toes, lift our knee. So knees tap, toes tap knees tap toes tap so we're getting a little bit of hip rotation in here and extending that opening making it a little bit more intense leveling up if this doesn't feel great feel free to come back to those clamshells so knees tap toes tap knees tap toes tap all right now if you didn't hate me before you will now now kick your uh, left leg forward and then kick it back. So bend your knee, kick your left leg forward as far as you can, then kick it back. So big range of motion here. This one hurts. <laughs> so you are getting a little bit of your side glutes, but you're also getting your middle glutes. Oh yeah, feel the burn. You got this. Now keep your leg forward and do tiny lifts. Woo. Oh yeah, feeling this in a big way. My foot is flexed here because it hurts more. Legs hovering, left leg is extended forward. Push energy through that heel. Tiny lifts, lift, lift, lift. Oh yeah. <laughs> At least you all know that I'm doing this with you. <laughs> okay, and now extend your leg straight so it's in line with your body. So straight line from the back of your left heel to your head. And then you're just gonna tap your toe and then lift it. So tap it down, lift to hip height. Toe taps down, lifts to hip height. You got this. If you are feeling spicy, extend your left leg long to reach towards your toes and then do just do a tiny little side crunch as your left leg lifts. Add some more spice as if this wasn't spicy enough. Okay. Beautiful. Three, two, one. But wait, there's more. We're gonna get into tabletop position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Extend your left leg back behind you. Back is flat, belly button's pulled in. Your left leg is extended long, toes pointed. Tap your left toes behind you 
to the right. So kind of like behind your right toes. Lift them up. Tap down to the right. Lift up to your starting position. So you're ta tapping at a backward diagonal. Getting that nice corner of your bottom. Nice job. Now, from here, bend your heel to your bottom with your left foot. So left leg is still raised, bend that heel. Now take your left knee and you're pointing it behind you right now. Try to tap the back of your right calf and then lift it. So same diagonal motion, just your leg is bent this time foot is flexed. So left knee, taps right calf, lifts, taps, lifts. Getting those corners, corners of the glutes. The best part about this is we get to do it all on the other side in a few seconds. Okay, three, two, one, rest. Nice job, shake it out. Scream if you need to, and meet me on the left side of your body. Okay, <laughs> options here. Left side of the body down towards the mat, right side towards the ceiling. Left elbow beneath left shoulder, or rest your head on your left arm. Rest your head in the palm of your left hand. Bend your knees, so knees come at least in front of hips. If not, closer to your chest. The closer to your chest, the harder this will be. Right hand can come flat on the ground in front of your torso to support some weight, or it can come to your hip. Let's go ahead and start with our clamshells. Knees apart, toes stay together, knees together. So toes stay together this whole time, knees come together. If you choose to be on your forearm, elbow under shoulder, try to pull your rib cage away from the mat and upwards, extra ab bonus work. Knees up and down, knees up and down. The more your right hip points up, the more your right knee stacks over your left, the more you'll feel this in your outer glutes. Oh yeah. Holy macaroni. Okay, now we switch it up. Toes together, <laughs> knees apart. Knees together, toes apart. Toes together, knees apart. Knees together, toes apart. Hip rotation. Bonus work. We gotta even it out. So we gotta do it on both sides. It's double the fun. I think I'm the only one excited <laughs> right now. Okay. Nice job. All right, forward kicks. Kick your leg straight forward, kick it back. Keeping it hovering at hip height. Straight forward, straight back. So my knee bends to kick and then extends in front of me and then also extends when I kick it back. Oh yeah. Feel the fire in the glutes. All right, now extend your leg forward and lift. Flex that foot, push energy through the heel. Lift that leg just a few inches. Lift lower, lift lower. Feeling that burn in your glutes. Wow. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now extend your leg along so it's in line with your body. Straight line from heel to head. Lower your right heel, lift it. Lower and lift. We're really getting deep into the glutes today. Beautiful job. Option to extend that right arm to reach towards your right heel and add a little side crunch for extra spice. Reach towards your heel, release as you lift and lower. All right. And three, two, one. Get into your donkey kick position. Tabletop, 
hands underneath shoulders knees underneath hips right leg extends straight behind you belly buttons pulled into spine back is flat don't forget to rest your favorite whatever on your back today i have pizza for lunch so my pizza is resting on my back so right here or right toes tap towards your left foot so just a diagonal straight back and left diagonal straight back and left even our music gave up on me come on <laughs> Maybe not. That's all right. <laughs> Keeping that leg nice and straight, you're getting the corners of your glutes here. And now bend that knee so that your heel comes to your glutes, foot is flexed, and right knee taps left calf, lifts pops left calf lifts back stays flat during this whole thing belly button pulled in i just caught myself get in those corners i think our music is telling us it's time to cool down but i'm not ready yet <laughs> and three two one rest nice job i am going to stay seated for this you can be seated or stand or whatever you'd like to do we're going to do shoulder squeezes and then elbow squeezes. So cactus arms or goalpost arms. Squeeze those elbows together. Pinch your shoulder blades together and release. Squeeze elbows together and release. So palms face forward, fingertips point up. 90 degree L shape. Elbow squeeze and release. Get some upper back work. All right. now. Arms stay at that 90 degrees. Now elbows come directly in towards your rib cage. Palms face forward. Now left fingertips point left, right fingertips point right. Squeeze, shoulder blades, and release. Nice job, everybody. We're almost at our cool down. All right, beautiful job, everybody. Shake it all out. Let's cool down. Well-earned stretch. Okay, let's tabletop position. Cool it down, cat and cow. Feel free to cool down your own exercises, however serves your body best. I am in tabletop position. Cushion through the palms of your hands, tuck your chin to your chest, arch your back to the sky, and then dip your belly low, point your nose to the ceiling, or point your nose forward. <laughs> Stretching out your spine and your abdominals. When you're ready, hike your hips up to the sky, legs long, arms long, upside down V shape. Push those heels to the ground, pike position. Squeeze your, or not squeeze, push your hips back to elongate the stretch through your spine. Get your head between your arms. And when you're ready, come back to that tabletop and roll onto your back. Hug your right knee into your chest. Left leg goes long. Whew. Right knee comes in, left leg can either go long or left leg can be planted on the ground. Nice deep breaths. Feel free to do ankle circles here if that feels good. And we're going to do a glute stretch here. So left arm comes to the outside of your right leg here. Right arm can go into a T. Use your left arm to guide your right leg, your right knee over towards the left side of your body. Your right hip will come up off the ground. Only go as far as is comfortable. Point your nose to the right. Beautiful, unwind. 
Let legs, both legs fall long. Hug your left knee to your chest. Either extend your right leg long or plant your right foot on the ground. Option for ankle circles. Nice deep breaths. And take your right hand to the outside of your left leg, left arm into a T on the ground. Guide your right or your left knee over to the right side of your body. Point your nose left. The higher you pull your knee towards your opposite shoulder, the more of a glute stretch you'll get in that side glute that we just worked really hard. And release. Ah, all right, go ahead and come to seated position or seated forward fold. Legs go long in front of you, arms reach for your toes. As you get a stretch through the backs of your hamstrings, you'll also feel a stretch through your spine. Ooh. Nice job. Feels so good to be back to core stability. I have missed this. <laughs> good, me too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. No. I love the burn. <laughs> like glutes. Wow. Good new exercises on the glutes. Definitely. I'm glad that you enjoy them. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow, not so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Let's switch to butterfly. Uh, feet together, knees apart. Hinge forward at your waist, stretching the insides of your thighs, inner legs. I'll have to play around with my microphone after this to find out what happened. And extend your right leg long. Keep the bottom of your left foot will touch the inside of your right thigh. And right arm rests down by your right leg. Left arm reaches up and over your head to the right. And rotate. Both hands reach towards your right foot. Nose points to right knee. And come on up to seated, switch sides. Left leg goes long, right leg is bent. Inside of, or bottom of right leg goes to inside of left leg. Left arm goes down long by your left leg. Right hand reaches up and over your head. Big side body stretch to the right side. Inner left thigh, back of your left leg. And rotate nose to knee. Both arms reach for your left toes. Spine stretch back of your left leg. Last stretch we'll have time for today. Both legs wide in a V, reach forward to the space in front of you. Deep breaths. All right, thanks for joining. I'm going to stop our recording here.